Doctor Priest said I was waiting for you to come home. Jack, what are you doing here? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. All out of process servers? I'm not here about the divorce. Can we talk? Sure. You'd like to come in? <sighs> He'd stand out here to see whose lips turn blue first. Come on. Sure this is okay? I, I live here too. It's fine. So if you're not here to talk about the divorce, what else have we got to talk about? I heard you were thinking of moving. From? Doesn't matter. Jack, in this town, you live and die by who told what to whom. Is it true? Yeah, it's true. I want a place for me and for Parker and for the new baby. But before you ask me how I can swing it, I, I went to Rosanna. She's going to give me an advance. I, I, I can't believe you went to Rosanna for money. What was that like? It was like getting a root canal. But when it comes to my children, I would crawl to the devil to give them a better life. Get a place in mind? Yep. When I can afford. Well, it can't be easy. Yeah. Searching for a new place, working, taking care of Parker. You spit it out, Jack. What is it you really want to know? I was wondering what you moving out of here means for us. There is no us, Jack. Us has been reduced to pending divorce decree based on those ever popular irreconcilable differences. That's not what it feels like. That's because we stink at goodbyes. But it's all there, in black and white. Your way of saying to hell with you, Carly. I don't blame you. I lied, and I cheated, and I stood at that altar, and I said those words. And I meant them. I meant every single one of those words, Jack. So for me, the lie wasn't saying that I would love you till death. The lie was thinking I could pull off being your wife without ever having to tell you can I what had happened. Say something and I'm now? I'm getting a yeah. house so Parker can have some place to play in a yard and maybe have some children in the neighborhood that he can play with. And I don't need you. I don't need your help. I don't need you to sign anything. Maybe I, I need, need something you from you. Did you ever stop and think of that? Don't worry. I'll be there when you need me to sign the final papers. That's not what I meant. And I don't know what you want from me. I'm a proud man, Carlin. But I don't have a hell of a lot of pride left when it comes to you. Well, Jack Snyder. I thought they gave you the patent on stubborn male pride. Don't tell me you're running low. Would you think this is funny? No, I do not. And why does it feel like you're treating this whole thing like a, some cosmic joke? Because if that's what we are to you, Carly, then maybe I was right. Maybe it is over. I, I'm sorry, but I have no idea where this is coming from. I've been packed up and moved out and put on a court docket. You handed me divorce papers. I burst into tears. What's the problem, Jack? I didn't seem sad enough for you. I didn't threaten to kill myself. What is it? How am I supposed to convince you that I do not think that any of this is funny? Listen, listen, I... I'm sorry. It's just when I heard you were looking for a place of your own, it, it felt like something was really, really changing. Like what? I, I, I don't know. Let's talk about something that hasn't changed. Like what's in my heart. I thought it was, say, the flowers, not with divorce papers. Okay, look, I don't know where I'm going with this. It's just that being on the outside of your life, it feels dead wrong what you do and where you live that's that's important to me Carly it's important tonight but what about tomorrow or what if you come across me waiting with Mike at the doctor's office or what if Craig and I have to put in a long night it's not kind of guaranteed that I'm never gonna be jealous again we're not talking about jealousy Jack look I still miss you every single day 
I look at my life without you in it, and it's so small, it scares me. I see myself clocking in the next 30 years at the station and then getting pensioned out with a, a gold watch and a pat on the back if I'm lucky. And how do I change that? You change everything. Having you in my life makes taking out the garbage a better deal. Walking in the door at night, that used to be the highlight of my life. Trips to the mall were like mini vacations. You hate the mall. Not with you. And I know you want it all, Carly. I know you want it love and trust and promises that I'm never going to look at the clock when you're running late or wonder who you're with or, or where you were. I'm not there yet. But I hate where I am now. And I know we can't go back, but that doesn't mean we can't have pieces of what we had. I won't settle for pieces, Jack. I want a man who will love me and trust me 100%. And I know that I have to earn it. I have to earn every bit of that trust. But would you even let me try? I don't know. And that, that is the sad truth. You don't know. Well, it is now or never, Jack. It is time for you to figure out who I really am to you. Am I the love of your life or your worst nightmare? Which is it? All right, there's gotta be a way we can figure out how to get past this. This is a baby, Jack. And she may or may not be yours. So tell me, how do we get past something like that? No, that's not what I meant. I think it is. If you want me, you want this baby. We are a package deal. And if you want us, then you're going to have to throw in some trust. But you don't think I've tried? We're really good at trying, aren't we? Loving each other has never been the problem, has it? It's everything else. We go on autopilot when it comes to everything else. Everything Maybe else. we do take for granted that everything else will fall into place. I'm not angry about it, Jack. I'm tired. And I'm sad. Frustrated. If I had some kind of magic potion that would make you trust me again, I would throw you down in this chair and I would pour it down your throat. Yeah, I wish it were that easy. Look, it's late. I have to meet with the realtor pretty early in the morning, so. Do you think you could tell me why you're really here? Because you are. where you are and because I came here to see if you consider taking this back <laughs>